Every holiday season, we hear about scammers trying to take advantage of some of our neighbors. This year, with the pandemic, the Better Business Bureau says they are out in full force. News 4 Tucson's Chorus Nylander has more on what you can look out for. 2020 has been a year of change for sure. Not only are more and more people working from home, but shopping from home, and there's people in the shadows taking advantage of that. As many people try to find the safest ways to celebrate the holidays in the middle of a pandemic, scammers are looking for the easiest ways to steal your money. It's the pandemic and people spending more time at home, uh, maybe even afraid to go out. The, the, the amount of online shopping and transactions that are taking place online have just skyrocketed. Sean Herdrick with the Better Business Bureau says scammers are using social media ads or virtual events to find victims, selling various products like the most popular electronics at a too good to be true price. You know, maybe you're seeing a PlayStation 5 for $100. Uh, that would be a huge red flag. One of the biggest scams right now, Herdrick says, is selling puppies or at least pretending to. The, the puppy scam is back in full force, especially with the pandemic and more people staying at home um, looking for companionship. And, and that has increased uh, more than three times in the past three years. And as online orders fly off the warehouse shelf and to your front door, package thieves are waiting. Donna Snyder says her east side Tucson neighborhood has been ravaged by porch pirates. We're talking hundreds of people who have lost packages because of this. And it seems to be the same vehicles over and over again. There's one that comes by late at night, and then there's another one that comes by during the day, and it seems almost to follow the Amazon and UPS and FedEx drivers. Porch pirates can be reported to local law enforcement, but the Pima County Sheriff's Office says when you lose money online, things get more complicated. It goes to the FBI. That, that can be a long process. and. No guarantee you're going to get restitution or your money back. So what should you do? Sean Herdrick says you definitely want to report any online scams or package thefts to local law enforcement. The Pima County Sheriff's Office says that either it can report online scams to the FBI for you or you could report it directly. But unfortunately, it's unlikely you'll ever get your money back. We've got you covered. Course now letter, News 4 Tucson.